in this video we we'll look at waves continuation look at some examples these examples we shall work them out together question one says what waves are produced by a vibrator of frequency 10 Hz and the wavelength is 0 0.2 meters. It says calculate what is the period of the wave and what is the speed of the wave. Now period of the wave we know that it's a number period period is equal to time taken to make one complete oscillation. So it's a, it's a time taken to make a certain number of complete oscillations, which is one. Now, in this case, there's a formula that relates period and frequency. So period is equal to one over frequency. Frequency is also equal to one over period. So in this case, we are finding period on part A. So period is equal to 1 over our frequency has been given here, 10 Hz. So put 10 Hz. Therefore, period, you know that period is time. So it will be 0 0.1 seconds. That's the period. Then B says, what is the speed of the wave? Now, you need to know that speed of the wave is equal to frequency time wavelength. This is a formula that connects speed, frequency, and wavelength. So from there, and that speed is equal to frequency we have is 10 Hz times the wavelength we have is 0 0.2 meters and speed is equal to 10 times 0 0.2 that will give us 2 meters per second as our speed so that's how we work out let's go on question 2 Kendo says, water waves travel at 30 meters per second through a certain media. If 10 waves pass through a certain point per second, find the frequency and the wavelength. So in this case, we have speed, which is equal to 30 meters per second. We also have frequency, which is equal to 10 Hz. Remember, we have 10 waves per second that's actually frequency what have we been asked to find we've been asked to find frequency and wavelength so in this case on a frequency is equal to 10 hertz per second then b b find the wavelength now we know that speed is equal to frequency times wavelength let me put it up here we have our speed here as 30 meters per second and our frequency we have is 10 hertz and we don't have a degree so you know by now how to work out fractions you divide both sides by 10 both sides by 10 so the degree will be equal to 3 meters remember that's where brain is in meters that's all on question 2 Question three says if twenty if one twenty waves pass through the pass are produced per minute, find the frequency and find the period. Now you are saying one twenty right waves are produced. You know the difference. All these are produced. Let me say this. Sorry. All these are produced in one minute now one minute is the same as 60 seconds let me go with 60 seconds 
Now what we need here is the frequency. Now frequency is the number of oscillations made in one second. Let's put X here. How many waves will be made in one second? And that's the frequency. So when you cross multiply, when you cross multiply here, cross multiply, you discover that one multiply one point and x multiply ski step. So we're going to have ski step x is equal to 120. So we divide both sides by ski step, so this side by ski step, also the other side by ski step. So x will be equal to 2 waves. So therefore, the frequency is equal to two hertz. So frequency is the number of complete oscillations made in one second. So this is our frequency. Two hertz. How do you find the period? First of all, 120 waves were produced in one minute, 60 seconds. Frequency, we need the number of complete oscillations made in one second. That's why we did this. And the period, we know that period is equal to 1 over frequency. Therefore, period is equal to 1 over 2. Hence, hence period is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. That's all. Question four says the diagram below shows transfer squares. There's distance there in meters, also distance in meters. They're saying find the number of waves. How many waves are here? So to form a wave, like I said earlier, a wave is formed when you have something like this. So this is a crest and this is a trough. So they together they form a wave. So we have one wave from there to there, one, the oscillator. Another one, so I'll use different colors. There. Another one, cutting from there to there. Another one, from there to there. Then another one, from there to there. So you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five. So you have five waves on F. Find the amplitude of the wave. How do you find amplitude? Amplitude is the maximum displacement of the wave. The distance from, from zero to where the crest is reaching or the distance from zero to where the trough is reaching. Now we look at from here to there, it's only five. So the amplitude is actually five meters. C says find the wavelength. Wavelength, I talked about it. It can be the distance from there, from here to there, or if you have something like this, it can be the from there to there. It's also a wavelength. In this case, we have from we can say this is one wave and another trough there. They are forming a wave, a complete wave. So the difference between these that what to give you the uh, the, the wavelength. So you can discover that that's actually uh, one meter. So one meter, that's the wavelength. Find the speed of the wave if the number of waves in the diagram are producing in two seconds. That's saying if these waves, they're producing two seconds, find the speed. So, so remember we have five waves waves being produced in two seconds. First, we need to find frequency. How many waves will be produced in one second? So we have x will be equal to uh, 5 divided by 2 to give the x will be equal to 2.5 hertz. So that's the frequency. Hence, f is equal to 2.5 hertz. Now, how do you find uh, and remember that speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. So we have frequency, which is 2.5 times wavelength we found as 1 meter. So in short, speed will be equal to 2.5 meters per second. So that's how we answer. See you in the next video on PDS the tutor. Thank you for watching.